You don't have to be a scientist to properly maintain a pool, but you do have to understand all aspects of water chemistry and how to test it. Luckily, you don't have to cram for this test. Just always read and follow the manufacturer's instructions for your water test kit. First, it is important to maintain a proper disinfectant level of free chlorine or total bromine in your pool or spa at all times. Free chlorine must be maintained at a minimum of 1 ppm for pools and 2 ppm for spas. Total bromine must be maintained at a minimum of 3 ppm for pools and 4 ppm for spas. If you use a chlorine product with cyanuric acid or add it as a supplement, then the disinfectant level must be higher with free chlorine at 2 ppm in a pool and 3 ppm in a spa. Spray grounds and special features must maintain a free chlorine level of 2 ppm or 4 ppm bromine as measured from the spray orifice. It's very important to maintain proper disinfectant levels. A level that is too high can cause irritation, while too little disinfectant will not eliminate harmful pathogens in the water. Additionally, if you use a chlorine disinfectant, then combined chlorine must also be tested. Combined chlorine results from free chlorine reacting with organic compounds containing nitrogen, such as urine, sweat, and environmental contaminants. The combined chlorine level should not exceed 1 ppm. A high level may result in a strong chlorine odor, so to lower combined chlorine in a pool or spa, you should shock or drain the water. Shocking is when a large dose of chlorine is added to the pool or spa at one time. The dose should be 10 times the amount of combined chlorine, subtracting the existing free chlorine level to achieve breakpoint chlorination, which will eliminate combined chlorine and increase the free chlorine level. Shocking should only be performed when the pool is closed and in the evening after patrons have left to allow the disinfectant to properly circulate. A DPD test kit must be used following the manufacturer's instruction to test the available disinfectant. Additionally, to ensure effective disinfection and to prevent patron irritation and damage to the pool, it is important to keep all other water factors balanced, including the pH, or measurement of hydrogen ions in the water. The acceptable pH range for pools and spas is 7.2 to 7.8. To test the pH level, First rinse and fill the comparator, and then add the pH reagent according to the instructions in the test kit. Make sure you do not hold the bottles at an angle when adding reagents. Next, cap the tube and invert it to the mix. Now match the color in the tube to the color standard on the chart using natural light or a white surface background to achieve an accurate color reading. Record the outcome as pH units. Another aspect of balanced water is alkalinity, or the ability of water to resist changes in pH. Alkalinity should be maintained at 60 ppm or above and tested at least once per day. To test the alkalinity level, rinse and fill the comparator tube and then add the reagents per the test kit's instructions. Again, make sure all the bottles are level and not at an angle when adding the reagents. Count the drops of the reagent until a color change is achieved and multiply the number of drops by 10. Record it as parts per million ppm alkalinity. Another chemical to understand is cyanuric acid, which can lessen the effect of free chlorine breakdown by sunlight in an outdoor pool or spa. It can also make free chlorine less effective. Cyanuric acid is the stabilizing agent in trichlor and dichlor disinfectants, or it can be added as a supplement. While it is most effective at a level between 30 and 50 ppm, it cannot exceed 70 ppm by state law, and it should be tested at least once a week. It's important to note that unlike chlorine, cyanuric acid does not break down or evaporate so it will continually build up in the water. In fact, cyanuric acid can only be reduced by draining the pool or spa and refilling it with fresh water. To test cyanuric acid, rinse and fill the dispensing bottle with equal parts water to be tested with a cyanuric acid reagent. Put the cap on and mix it for 30 seconds. 
Next, slowly transfer the solution to a small comparator tube until the black dot on the bottom disappears when viewed from the top. Now read the liquid level on the comparator block and record the measurement as parts per million ppm of cyanuric acid. Unlike water chemistry, temperature is a physical factor that contributes to water quality. To keep water safe, the pool temperature must not exceed 90 degrees Fahrenheit and the spa temperature cannot exceed 104 degrees Fahrenheit. At higher temperatures, the disinfectant can quickly evaporate. A calibrated thermometer should be kept with other testing equipment and the temperature must be measured and recorded at least once a day. Likewise, you should perform additional tests to ensure the water chemistry is maintained and balanced. Keep in mind that some results can be inaccurate if other water chemistry parameters, such as disinfectant levels, are too far out of range. In this situation, the resulting color may not be reflected in the manufacturer's instructions. Don't let the quality of your pool or spa water leave you feeling blue. Follow these chemistry guidelines and you will pass the test for clean and safe recreational water.